Hello and welcome to my living room. It is a chilly Denver morning, so I'm filming today from my floor in front of my fireplace because things are cold outside. So I have my coffee, a candle, my guide dog's in the background chewing her bone. Sorry if that's distracting, but that's what that is. And welcome to another video from Kirsten's View. I'm Kirsten and today I want to film a sort of channel update and I want to tell you how excited I am because I have decided to take this channel in sort of a different direction or a much more purposeful direction because I've been having a lot of conflict with this channel behind the scenes over the past two years or so that I've started filming videos for you guys and I felt that in order for me to give you an update about what I want to do with this channel from now on, I have to give you an update on what I've been going through to try to get there in the first place. So this is going to be um, hopefully not super rambly, but definitely pretty uh, you know raw and unedited while I figure out how to put everything into words for you. So since I started this channel, I have filmed videos about a ton of things. <laughs> if you've been here a long time, you've probably felt like this is sort of a roller coaster ride because I film across the board. And really the point of doing that was because I was trying to figure out which videos do I enjoy filming the most and which videos do you guys enjoy watching. And in order to find that sweet spot, that sort of intersection, you really have to just start going. What's important is you guys. and. I have to actually take a minute because I want to say thank you so much to all of you who have subscribed to this channel. Every time I see another subscriber, I like scream and I jump around and I'm like, Joe, another one! Ah! <laughs> like I freak out, you know? It's just because every single person, every one of you means something to me. And so I really, I just want to say thank you first and foremost for watching this. If you haven't been here for a long time, let's take a walk down memory lane so you can see what I'm talking about. And today we are going to make a lush, relaxing, beautiful lip balm. I am very, very excited. This is the most accessible piece of workout equipment. I am going to explain my five reasons why I think blind people should get guide dogs. Like this one. Why should we get you? I never grew up knowing how to do makeup because I'm blind and I just kind of always was scared of painting my face. We are going to unbox and review the DJI OM4. Two of the most widely available organic meal prep kit services are Green Chef and Sun Basket. Just to confirm you said yes. I did. <laughs> I want to give you my strategies that everyone else needs to understand at the beginning of their first semester. We are finally on the road moving to Denver, Colorado. Yeah, pretty wild, right? All over the place. The conflict that I was having behind the scenes though was that I always felt as though I was fighting parts of myself. And what I mean by that is if you have a disability, you know that the rest of the world kind of puts you in a box and says, oh, well, Kirsten's blind, so of course she's going to make videos about being blind. And actually, when I was in law school, people thought that I was going to go into civil rights law just because I have a disability, and so they thought, oh, well, obviously she would have a passion for representing other people with disabilities or other minorities. And I think that's a very fascinating area of law, but that's not what I wanted to go into. I wanted to go into national security and border protection and things that I was personally interested in that had nothing to do with my blindness. So, you know, I've been, I've been fighting those assumptions for a long time and there are content creators on YouTube that are blind that make videos essentially wholly about being blind. Like, their blindness is central to their content, if that makes sense. And you know, they're, they're known as like the blind girl or the blind guy who makes videos. And I'm okay with being known as a blind person because I obviously am. But what I was struggling with was the fact that I'm not just that. You know, I love to have fun and I love fitness and I love clothes and I'm a lawyer and I've worked through so many things while being blind. You know what I mean? 
And I was really struggling because I didn't want all of my videos to just be about being blind. I have more to offer as an entire package, as, as me, as Kirsten, as who I am. And I wasn't able to do it. And that, it's just, it's part of the reason why I have taken significant breaks sometimes from this channel because I, I couldn't find a passion to drive me because I felt like I wasn't able to provide value for you guys. I hate inefficiency. <laughs> Anyone in my life knows that. So if someone does something or says something, I'll just look at them blandly and say, that's inefficient. You need to stop. You know, and I hold myself to that same standard. So because of that, I just felt like I'm not doing what I really need to be doing or what I really can be doing. Like, I'm not maximizing these videos. That's, that's really what it was. So, oh my gosh. Is anyone just like coffee in the morning? There's just, there's something about it that's so comforting and just, oh, it's the best. Wait, I gotta do that again. Mmm. Yeah, wow. Okay, anyway. So I wasn't maximizing myself for you. And then, I really hit a point recently where I was talking with my fiance, Joe, and I said, look, if I don't figure this out, I will not be able to continue this channel because I feel like I'm just making videos that occur to me, you know, randomly or, or spontaneously sometimes where I'll be like, oh, that's a cool video idea. Let's do that. Let's talk about guide dogs or let's like do a product review of meal prep kits. Like, you know, it's, it's very important that you understand all of the content that I've put out so far is authentic to me. Those videos are sincere. Those opinions that I shared or those, those stories about my life, they're all true. I just felt like I wasn't doing well enough at giving you guys an idea about what this channel actually is. If somebody asked me what my channel is about, I'd be like, well, I post videos about you know, all sorts of stuff like about me and my life and vlogs and like blind things and uh, and that's incredibly inefficient. Like, oh, it hurt my heart. It hurt my type A lawyer heart. But then it hit me and I realized what I'm really trying to convey through all these videos and how I think I can best bring value to you guys. And honestly, I'm actually really excited. Like this is the first time that I'm thinking about the channel in a way that doesn't bring me a lot of anxiety. And now I have it. What I really think I've been trying to send as a message to you guys, and what I'm definitely going to directionalize as my goal moving forward, is building self-confidence. Because that's what it's about. Honestly, I have 30 years of expertise <laughs> about how to build self-confidence. Times that I've fallen on my face and had to pull myself out of the dirt. Times that the environment around me has really caused me to go through some crazy things because I lacked self-confidence. And also, just things about life that I think I've learned lessons and tips and, I don't know, influencers would say like, confidence hacks <laughs> that I can share with you, you know? like. How having self-confidence and how the way you feel about yourself can actually affect... Puppy, did you just burp on my channel? Oh, I really, I have raised her better. She's just such a brute. Anyway, <laughs> um, how the confidence you feel in yourself and the self-esteem level that you have can totally change the way your environment can affect you or touch you or mess with you, you know? Hi, puppies. One of the other reasons I wanted to share this with you is because I want you to have part in this. So please, please, please leave comments. Or if you want to talk to me privately, just go over to Instagram and message me there because your input matters and what you want to see or what you need to see, frankly, matters to me and I will put videos out to, to help you with those things. So this is what I intend to do. Some of the videos will be stories or um, kind of 
time periods in my life where I lacked confidence and some really bad things happened to me or like I made bad decisions because of that lack of confidence. Um, and also times when like people took advantage of me because I wasn't confident and how honestly that was, a lot of it was on me because I could have stood up for myself more and just how I learned from those things and lessons that I will implement in my life moving forward so that I'll never be in that dark place for those reasons again. Then I want to make videos about other people, interviewing them and learning from them about times in their lives when confidence was a problem or when they were negatively impacted by their own lack of self-esteem. And it'll be sort of like a, a podcast style, just sit down chat, because I think learning from other people is one of the coolest things we can do because it's like free goods, you know? <laughs> like all you have to do is sit there and listen. And then I also wanna do videos about those tips and hacks I was talking about, like times when we normally lack self-confidence or periods of life when confidence just isn't something that might come naturally to us because of how we're feeling or because of the things we're going through. And I wanted to put together some content that might help you frame your thoughts and sort of pull yourself out of this confidence slump so that you can face those things with more poise and more grace and um, just more self-awareness so that you present yourself as, as open and welcome to the environment around you because just the way that you portray yourself to the world, I cannot explain how much value that could bring to your life. So there will be videos on that. And then lastly, I really think it's important to put your money where your mouth is. I'm going to make videos of myself trying new things, things I've never done before um, or things that are nerve wracking to me or frightening even. And I'll tell you about them in the video. I'm gonna say, you know, I'm gonna try this thing and I'm sort of terrified. This is why. And you know, hopefully this works out. Because what I wanna convey as well is that when you fail at something, it doesn't mean you're worse as, as a person. It just means you failed at something and now you've got to move on and figure out what to do from there. It's easy for me to say, oh yeah, I went through this really hard time and, you know, but don't worry because I'm out of it and we're good. That's fine and I'm going to make those videos, but I want you to see the raw sort of journey that I go through to try and put myself in situations where I am not confident. And hopefully by doing so, you'll be able to be entertained as I like fall or <laughs> mess up or spill things or I don't know. And then, you know, at the end of the day, I just want you to learn something. So that's it. That's, that's my channel direction. I'm, I'm, I can't explain to you how much positive energy I feel about this plan moving forward. And I really hope, as I said, that if you have ideas or you have things that you'd really like to see, please leave a comment or talk to me on Instagram. And yeah, I'm just, I'm just so excited. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, um, I just gave the longest possible <laughs> reason why you should. So if all of this content interests you, I really encourage you to hit the subscribe button. It's completely free. And all it does is tell YouTube that you're interested in my content and allows you to be brought up to speed on the different videos that I release. So subscribe, share this channel with your friends. I'm so excited to put out this new content and I cannot wait to take you guys with me. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time on another video from Kirsten's View. Cheers. It's still so good. Like, it's still so good. This cup, Joe. Morning coffee?